Just let it go, don't wanna It's me, Foxy Nation today, and we're reacting to David's new thing. So let's get started, shall we? What's up, Free World 6 5 crew? This is your boy David George Fuel 6 Life, and welcome to Free World 6 5 News. This is your news intro? Why is it so boring? At least I have some. Let's get right in and get started. The first one I'm going to talk about is the story we already talked about. If you remember one of my Free World 6 5 news, okay. I talked about the whole disco party mm -hmm. with Ty You know, the guy who got okay. the big uh, thing in that. Yeah, well. He's back in the news today because apparently he appear he. This is the stupidest article I've seen. Paris laughed at illegal Instagram video for prison because somehow he actually had his phone got the phone in prison on an illegal mobile phone. Fucking morons, legal fucks wrong with prison. And he and in the videos it shows him laughing and looking at other. It showed this video, a video, and a picture. The video is him look. In the video, it shows him, uh, like, just looking at the other guys who apparently they blurred their face like pieces of shit, even though they're also criminals. And he's just laughing. And then there's a the picture where he is taking a picture against the two other people while also by the prison at the prison. And of course, this article right here, Cambridge Share Live. Yeah, these motherfuckers snitched and get mad at them. Oh, no, 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 we should. You know what we should do? You know what we should do? We should just snitch on them, like tell other people. And then he had to go. And they deleted his account. Personally, yeah, he's a killer. But it's a phone, motherfuckers. Phones are not illegal. It's just a phone. It's not like he freaking like took a gun or something. True. Like literally, all he did was just show pictures of him in prison. How is that bad? Cause if you remember, there was a Snapchat story where a guy broke out of prison. You didn't say shit about that. <sighs> Pieces of shit. Also, in the news, is a dad. So a dad has been arrested for driving a couple to the park to do their thing. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry about that. Could have just you could have just edited that out. Like you 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 know. Rick. Apparently Lawrence Mitchell, a fifty three year old, actually drove his fifty year old son to the park and his tea with his tea girlfriend so they got sex, police said. And he faced charges after he did that. <coughs> God damn it. Or in the dad's words, do their thing. He was arrested earlier this month after officers followed him out in a car. The dad reportedly told the officer to take him to his girlfriend so they do what kids do. What they aren't doing, they're just having sex. He told the cop he could be out doing worse. However, he did Fuck, sorry guys. Mitchell never actually admitted that he didn't know the girl was paired to commit her being out. Police officer did April the key covered when they turned her. Oh, and it's going to be the officer here is going to be smoking and. <coughs> Sorry, goddamn. Smoking and fucking. It's blurred out. Personally, I think you should get that arrested guy. Like. Yeah, if a girlfriend or a boyfriend, they be teeth but to have sex, it's like everybody does that. Like, and the dad is okay. If a parent's okay with it, it's like, are you arresting him? Like, that's not bad. Ah, uh, whatever. All to the news. This is an interesting story. Stand your ground, shooting victim's family. Now, in Florida, you know the place where a bunch of stuff happens. Mm -hmm. There's actually a guy by the name of Michael Tajiria. I think that's his last name. <laughs> He shot and killed a person in a dispute over a parking space. And uh, it showed, it's a real video showed the suspect. Oh. I hate when it happens. Okay, guys, I'm back.
So I had to take a bathroom break. At the death of Mark Keith McLaughlin, the yeah. short video of the kid that confronted the girlfriend for parking in a handicapped space, and the victim pushed the suspect to the ground. That's when the suspect pulled the gun and shot him. In a recent EP with CBS, she just said, I'm sorry. That's all I can really say to them and thinking about it. Would you accept these kind of words or someone? I don't think I would. The suspect actually said this. They said they didn't show any remorse about it. I was very scared. I'd never been confronted like that. I never shot it. And ever I felt like I was tackled or somebody hit me from behind something. They got me, yes, but I was done. Yes, in court documents, he'd been con in confrontation with three other drivers. Two motorists accused the jury of knowing they got them, and a truck driver accused them of threatening to shoot them in the parking lot. That's got three months to the jury. He's charged with manslaughter and held on a $100 bond. Now, that's the thing. However, in that state, I can't. And that there's the whole stage or ground okay. so and if you don't know what that is it's pretty simple if you go now it's not the right words a person may defend themselves against threat against threats or perceived threats even to the point of applying lethal first regardless where the safety and retreat should might have been possible in other words that guy could have he got pushed and he thought he's gonna get hurt in that he could have had the right to shoot that guy. So personally, I think that law should be in every single state in the U.S. But for some reason, they don't allow it. I agree with David right here. I mean, that that makes sense. That dude had a right to shoot that person who's trying to hurt him. David, I'm right with you're right on that one. On a personal, some. You're right and wrong, because the right thing is he could have shot that man, but the wrong thing is that man, like, he shot him anyway, because the man didn't really, like, attack him. He attacked the man. Only 31 states have it's allowed for use in self-defense. Mm -hmm. However, in California, we don't have that. Which I think is stupid. We should have the right to defend ourselves. Well, we do in California. You do, just not with the gun. But you know, I want to apologize because I didn't even know I was sneezing because I just made a video with a few minutes ago and I wasn't even sneezing that for some reason because my allergies are acting up. Before that, I'd like to talk about something else. In the previous two videos, you saw that I was changing my way how I do videos and that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get better and all that, yada yada. And I bring in some more videos as well, so be on the lookout for that. Also, it linked in the description if you want to know what my outro song in my head that is. So that's for you. Now you remember the whole Brett Kavanaugh and the, her accused thing, right? Yeah, that was all. She's crazy. Now. Fox News won't say Kavanaugh's accuser, Kevin Bay Ford is lying. They say she's misremembered, which I agreed 100% of that. I do believe this girl is a lying piece of shit. I do believe she's just doing it for the news and the fame. She just hates the Kavanaugh. I don't believe that at all. I believe, like, they're just giving her a bad name and all of that. I don't believe he did nothing. <laughs> You're just giving her a bad name and make it look bad. But hey, that's my opinion. And if you're wondering what the heck... And this, like... This, I can't remember the name. It was something Tucker. This man is amazing. 
Hmm? Dr. Carl said, that was his statement, what were you doing one drunk night in the spring of 1982? Dr. Carl said, he was just like, I love this guy. He has, he's like Alex Jones, but better. It's like Alex Jones and I like it like that. Like that. He also blamed the victim for not going to the police. I mean, it's 1982, there's always a police. And even, and, and this is actually this. I don't know if he said it, but it says it is on here. If Kavanaugh nomination goes down, then the media is running, running the country. So true. That's pretty deep. And true. That is pretty fucking deep. But that's all for your 65 crew. This has been your boy, David George, the 65, and I am out for today's for your 65 news. Peace. But no intro, David? Like, no intro? Just an outro? Like, come on, bro. That'll be all for that reaction of Dave Jordan 365 News. So I am out. Peace.